and free. Oh my God, the revelations. I could never have imagined. Here's what came out this week. <laughs> we have a Brightest Day hardcover. For those of you who have been looking for a chance to jump on, there it is. Right there, looking at you. Not literally looking at you. It doesn't have eyes. New Akewood book. If you've never read Akewood, it's very funny, delightfully uncomfortable, and it has talking cats. One of them is named Roast Beef. New Planetary book. New Fables book. Collection of World War Hulks. New The Guild Trade. I know a lot of you people get all excited for that. Spider-Man Noir. Pinocchio Vampire Slayer. That's a great concept. It's not bad. I don't know. Uh, new Wizard. New Clint. Even though it looks like something else. Get it? That's clever. That Mark Millar. He's so... Look, he just slips it in past you. <sighs> God, he's a genius. Action Comics Annual. Adventure Comics. American Vampire. Ant-Man Wasp. That's a lot of fun. If you're not reading that, you should be. Authority, New Boys, Brightest Day, which is all about the Martian Manhunter, if that's what you're into. Bring the Thunder is gone. So I'm going to take this off. See? Watch this. There you go. That's how I handle stuff here. If I don't like it, I throw it over the side. For example. I don't like this. Done. That's how we do it. Nice. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Shadowland finishes up this week, so Daredevil came out to coincide with it. Uh, read this after Shadowland, because that's how it works. Uh, Doom Patrol, Feeding Ground, that's all about werewolves. Freedom Fighters came out. New Generation Hope. Green Hornet, Grim Fairy Tales, and uh, God, uh, this just gets better and better. Uh, Heroes for Hire came out this week. This is kind of a big deal. Uh, it's a new book written by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning. Uh, it's the same guys who brought you Guardians of the Galaxy and Nova for a really long time. Um, it's a new book. It's uh, not a bad premiere issue. It's pretty good. So check that out. Iron Man and Thor. This What If came out this week. Iron Man, Demon, and Armor. I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. I Zombie. Jonah Hex. Uh, Archie's pal Jughead came out. And he's on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, no! Okay, you can't eat cheeseburgers and milkshakes while you're on a roller coaster. He's an insane person. Uh, Killer King City, New Lady Death came out this week. That's serious. That's been reborn. Finally. Reborn, finally, for everyone. Marine Man. <laughs> Tristan, what are your thoughts on Marine Man? <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> I would have to read it first, but I'm not going to. No. No. no that's, that's probably a fair bet. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead, Osmo of Oz, Razzle came out. Probably had one person who was shocked to see it because it's taken a really, really, really long time for that to come out. Secret Six, there's a lot of thongs and a lot of sword play in that, so if you're into that, by all means, come run down and pick it up. Shadowland has ended. What happened to Daredevil? Who knows? Does he become a hairdresser at the end of this issue? No, Wolverine does Whoop. in the new The Best There Is. What? Wolverine does so much hair <laughs> and has so much fun at the clubs. Oh. So much club dancing for Wolverine in The Best There Is. It is the dancingest Wolverine comic I have ever seen, and he does more hair. I think he probably gives more haircuts than he has ever given in any comic ever. I'm willing to go out on a limb and say that that is the truth. That's a hell of a limb you're going out on. I know, I, but I think it's true. I think that is the most hair and makeup he's done. I don't know that he actually does makeup. He did a lot of hair in that. Apparently, he's the best at what he does. Well, he's been alive a long time, so he was bound to get into hairdressing eventually. It's absolutely true. I think it is the. Uh, I think it's the most logical step forward. Was uh, hairdressing. That was the pitch to Marvel. <laughs> this is the next logical step in the Wolverine series. He becomes a hairdresser. <laughs> in the club. Oh, club geez. can't even handle him right now. Uh, let's see, uh, Old Republic, strange science fantasy, sweet tooth, and unfortunately he didn't die in this one. 
Just kidding. It's a fun book, and people really like it. Um, Test it's Master. like the Road Warrior with antlers. It's like the Road Warrior with antlers. That was an actual <laughs> description written for it. Just like the Road Warrior. <laughs> there is, I can't see anything different from that and the Road Warrior. They're basically the same movie. Is Grace Jones... No, who was it? Grace... What's her name? What? No, I'm thinking <laughs> Thunderdome. Turner? Tina Turner was in oh, Thunderdome. Thunderdome? Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know, but uh, there's apparently a Yogi Bear video game coming out soon, so... Yes. Yeah. Finally. Finally. All right. Well, that's what came out this week, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. We will see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>